Hi everyone, Shuman Chin here today and I'm going to do the review of the Zenfone 8 Flip. So if you guys remember, I actually did a review of this before a few months back, I think about three months back and I bought the phone but I returned it and now I got another phone. So if you want, you can check out my unboxing video which was released last week. I'll put the link down below and look at this phone, okay? I'm just going to tell you straight away, when you get this phone, you're going to get it because you want to collect it, right? Because look at this, it's it's like a lightsaber. Look at the, my little uh, necklace behind, which is a lightsaber kind of necklace. And this lightsaber kind of feel to this phone is just awesome. So, number one, if you want to get this phone, it's mostly because you want to collect it, especially if you're in North America. You notice that um, it's not officially launched in North America, so it probably would not run on 5G over there. Uh, especially it's not registered under any of the companies there. But uh, if you want to get it, you can still run it on 4G. And it has this under display uh, fingerprint reader, which I don't really like, but it serves its function. I like you know what I like about that? Uh, look at this. The screen is just excellent. Uh, just so nicely done. It feels like pepper, right? Paper. And, and look at that. Uh, it's really, really nice. I have the screen protector on so you can see a bit of reflection. But when you look at it, it's really nice. And the last one I returned, okay? The last one I returned, guys, was lousy. There was some, uh, I think there was like a black crash issue on it. I was explaining it to you guys. I'll link I'll put the link down below again. I didn't like it. I was glad I returned it because this one, the screen is just excellent. It's a, I think it's a Sony display and also the, uh, oh wait, it's a Samsung display and the Sony uh, camera sort of uh, sensor. So it has the best of, you know, Sony and Samsung and this is an Asus quality build. So it's really good quality you can see here you can see that uh it has this really nice blue button here power on button like you know it's just for show but you really have to get this phone just because it looks great right because you know it's just really really awesome and of course you have this camera which is like super awesome i'm going to show you right now see it flips up and down okay show it to you guys flips up flips down right this you can play with this and it's going to not spoil um you know i've done like i put this case on where it blocks the thing and doesn't come out really nice like you know it gets stuck and it makes funny noises but it's always fine even if it goes halfway it will just get stuck there and then it'll go back down again uh, apparently you can do many flips even more than the previous phone so yeah you can actually look at my like a previous review video on why you know the flips would probably be okay and I'm just gonna add that this because of the awesome awesome screen right now I'm gonna show you guys a video and it's my own video but because of this awesome screen, I would totally recommend it. And the sound system, the sound system is awesome, right? Okay, let me show you guys. This is uh, a video I did of me doing push-ups before. You can actually see that on YouTube. Look at how clear it is. It's just awesome. It's so sharp and look, it covers the entire screen. So, oh wait, see? You can actually expand it so it just covers the entire screen. And you see how how freaking clear it is. So I'm doing 100 push-ups here. The definition here is just awesome, right? And the sound, right? You can actually hear it. It somehow has this sort of surround sound, okay? I don't have music here, but when you listen to music or you play games, this is an awesome phone which you will get for the experience, okay? And the key word here is experience because... This is an experience you don't get elsewhere. Where else can you get a phone with like the entire screen without a notch, right? Because as you know, the camera flips up, right? And it's just so awesome. <laughs> I would just 
like you know I paid the money for it it's actually cheaper now because right? you know the price went down not a lot of people want to buy it okay I'll just go through what the bad points of the phone is first of all it's his weight it's super heavy and a lot of people don't like it I think the first time if you get it especially if you get the black version which I did before um, you know it's it, it looks it doesn't look heavy but it's heavy but now when you get the silver version right here or they call it the glacier silver um, it's just you know you get it for to flaunt it right and um, okay for collectors you keep it right because you really like the look of it it's like a mini r2d2 you know it's something that you want to keep forever right so um, that is why you get this phone and of course the bad thing about it is the fingerprint scanner some kind sometimes kind of sucks you put your finger there it doesn't recognize it it's going to be there forever so what i would recommend you to do to mitigate this problem is to get the screen always on display like uh, uh not always on display like you lift on wake just set that setting so when you lift the phone up it wakes up and then what you could do is just swipe up and then you enter your pin number it's probably an easier way to get in if you can't get the silly under pre under display fingerprint scanner to work uh that's one way to get over it and then i mentioned before there's this power issue and it's still here where sometimes if you power it up especially if you have like a magnetic uh adapter here it will not turn on so what you have to do is that you have to reset the phone by pressing all the buttons and that's how it works so if you don't want that to happen just don't charge the phone when it's turned off for some odd reason it has this uh power adapting sort of like controlling the power like uh, charging up to 80 percent so maybe that's why when you charge it when the phone is not on it just refuses to charge and shuts down the entire phone so that could be very well be the reason i can't give you the exact reason i can't find the answer anywhere online in fact my video is the only one that talks about it but it definitely keeps occurring so if you have a magnetic charger just keep that in mind okay um, besides that this phone is just an awesome phone you want to get again another issue probably no headphone jack I mentioned all this before the battery kind of sucks although it's been like two updates now oh speaking of updates three updates actually so they had three updates since three months ago which is pretty cool they have always, always been updating it and the camera looks just awesome now okay uh, maybe I can show you uh, a photo here and the photos are like Google, like the Google Pixel. So um, it somehow makes the photos very saturated, right? I'm gonna show you one photo here. It looks really saturated as you can see here. That's a photo of me. The colors are really, really nice. If you like sort of like unreal sort of, you know, Google Pixel AI sort of uh, filtered look to it so when you take the photo it takes a while and then it will filter it and it will make it enhance the image to make it look really good so if you do like that see that background here okay i'm gonna zoom in here see that background it's really nice it's like neon color a bit i mean like in real life you don't really get that i guess if you're a kind of person who likes more real life colors you might not like that i'm sure there are some adjustments here but uh again after the two updates this is just awesome so for me i really love it i really love to play games on it uh there are few setbacks as i mentioned there's no wireless charging as well and you know despite all these setbacks again like i said this is a phone that you keep because you really like the looks of it and if you want to do vlogging the video quality is there there's um previously i mentioned there was this problem of it crashing doesn't seem to have the problem anymore after the updates so yeah this is a phone you will get and you appreciate because of this 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 my friend this my friend is what it's so cool about it right it has this camera here that goes up and down and this is something that you want to keep for a long time to come so i'll see you guys i hope you like this if you do please do give me a thumbs up and sub to the channel thanks guys take care now bye